Hi, this is Valcorum and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a video on how to create a great mixing agent for Drug Dealer Simulator. To get the most out of your drugs, you need to cut your drugs with some form of mixing agent. There are plenty of options available to you, but this is the main one that I use. Alright, let's get started, and please remember to like, subscribe, or leave a comment as it really does help me out. Firstly, to benefit from this strategy, you will need to be level 15, which is when you can unlock the ability to contact Barney Roman, who sells you the marijuana seeds that you can grow. The cheapest and easiest way to get started growing marijuana is to buy one of the outdoor strains, AK-420, Dubai Sativa, Skyscraper, and Brainfuck. One great thing about buying seeds is they're not considered illegal, so you can actually have them on you while you get searched at the checkpoint between zones. As you can see in this clip, I have 106 outdoor seeds while being searched at the checkpoint. The search goes smoothly and I'm able to freely cross over zones without fear of being arrested or detained. Once you have some seeds, you can now plant them, but they must be planted away from the prying eyes of the cop. As you can see in this playthrough, I have quite a few plants growing here. Make sure you keep an eye on your plants and water them to give yourself the best chance of getting a high yield. Once you've harvested your marijuana, you're ready to start the process of making your mixing agent. Okay, we're ready to start making our mixing agent. On the table in front of me are all the items you will need. Some freshly harvested marijuana, or as I like to call it, wet weed. A dryer. A large flask. A mortar to do some milling. So the flask, the dryer and the mortar, you can get them from the drugstore, which is in sector B over here. Uh, a bottle of acetone, which you can get from the gas station, which is in sector A over here. and some containers. The same rules apply for making a mixing agent as it does for making your drug mixes. The recipe must be exactly the same in both the way you add them to the mix and how you name it. The recipe for the mixing agent is as follows. Place one gram of acetone into the flask. Then we fill up the flask with as much of the wet weed as we can. So in this case, 399 grams. Now to please remember, you need to put them in the flask in the same order every time you want to make a new batch of mixing agent. Otherwise you'll not be able to store multiple batches in the same container. Next we need to apply the mix, and again, making sure we give it the exact same name for every batch. I'm going to use mixer. Now that the mix is completed, you need to move it to the dryer to start the drying process. So let's move it all over, but keep in mind that during this process you will lose about 50% of your yield. There used to be a recipe where you could only lose about 1 gram of yield, I think it was, but that's since been patched. Anyway, so let's start the drying process. As you can see that's going to take a little while, but we'll come back when that's finished. Okay, the drying's now finished. The next step is to mill down this mix, which is what we use the mortar for. If we're going to be making large batches of this mixing agent, then I find it's best to move the dried mix to a container so that you can continue to use the dryer, as that is the longest part of the process. So we'll move it over to there, give it a label, see it's called dried mixer. So then we can then move it into the mortar, so it can do 50 at a time, but that would allow us, if we're continuing to do more uh, mixes in the flask to, to use the dryer. But once we've put it into the mortar, then we mill the contents. Once this has been milled, then it's actually ready to be used for our mixing agent. I personally use a ratio of 30 grams of the mixing agent per 100 grams of the pure drug, whether that be cocaine, heroin, uh, amp, I use it for everything. Thank you for watching, and please remember to like, subscribe, or leave a comment as it really does help me out. 